good morning everyone welcome back to another video it's a beautiful sunny morning in london and i am alone here at the garden house this is the timber frame garden house i'm just here for a little bit um, i got to see building control today i'm waiting for building control i'm also going to finish off what i didn't get to finish the last time when we had our thunderstorms come down we had to run off and go home i don't know if you guys remember that so i um, just got a little bit of steel work to finish off so i'm here to just finish this off real quickly it won't take me too long and then hopefully i'll get to see building control and we'll explain what we've done and um he'll check what we've done and then if everything's good we are ready to pour the concrete slab for this job and then we can start the build so yeah i'll quickly show you guys um what the site's looking at and what the plans are for today all right guys so you guys might remember where we left off this is where we were we had left all these steels just sitting here i do need to cut some of it and i need to also turn the ends up uh, on the steels and get them preparation for casting so the plan is i'm going to take some of these out i'm just going to leave the base layer in i've got some spacers to go underneath them i'll show you guys that so i'm going to install that and the plan will be when we pump the concrete when we cover the first row of steel then we'll chuck the second row on top float it on top and then bury it as well so because the spaces that i have are 50 mil spaces so they go underneath the bottom row and then there'll be a 50 mil space between the next ones pour the concrete and 50 mil concrete on top all right guys so these are the spaces the concrete spaces that i'll be using we call them castles they sort of look a little bit like a castle so they sit down on the ground and the metal of the uh, mesh sits through here and that supports it so there's two options if you go this way you get a spacing of 40 mil if you put them on this way you get a spacing of 50 mil so it's a little bit higher so it's variable in that sense so that's what we'll be using under the bottom row
Okay guys, so I've done, I've cut these all to size. Uh, I've put in these um, castles to rise up the edges or rise up the steel off the ground. Uh, so now I've just got to wait. Um, well, I say that, I'm really gonna probably pack up now. The guys are waiting for me down the other side and they need some material. So I can't really hang about here all day. The thing with building control is um, you don't get a specific time what they're gonna come. So sometimes they say AM, PM at the moment, they sort of didn't really give me any time. So I could be sitting here all day, you know, for all I know. So um, the customer's here anyway, so she's happy to deal with them. If they've got any questions, they probably just give me a call or if there's anything that they want me to do, they'll just let her know or let me know. Uh, but otherwise um, I'm gonna leave it here. So as I said, this is the base layer. We'll pour the concrete, we'll drop the second layer on top. Obviously, I'll jump in there with the boots and stuff, and um, <coughs> we'll sandwich those steels in, and uh, be yeah, be quite solid. Being that I've added the trench as well, it's going to be really thick around those areas, and it slopes up, um, so it's a lot more concrete than was actually spec. So, should be good to go. Right, guys. So I've uh, been waiting for a bit, packed up, uh, no sign yet. So I'm going to shoot off. Unfortunately, I can't give you an update in this video as far as how the building control goes but i shall give you an update on the next video so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that hope you learned something i know it wasn't much but you might learn something about installing steels in a rough foundation or pad foundation whatever you want to call it all right guys so that's it i am shooting off to go meet the guys so we'll probably catch up with you on a next video until then i'll see you soon Thank you.